Hi everyone, this is Mohit and welcome back to Engineer Stackup channel. So in this session, we are going to discuss Signity interview question and answer for automation test engineer two to eight year of experience. So let's move in the first question. One second, guys. So first question is tell me about yourself. So if you are watching my series, so you can skip this question because I have already discuss what you have to speak and tell me about yourself so you have to tell your name your current organization your relevant experience your skill your current project your roles and responsibility now second question is explain your recent project right so in the project first of all you have to explain your domain in which domain you are working then in which model you have worked on that then if you are working on automation profile then you have to explain your framework then you have to explain your uh, technical contribution as well and explain your uh, yeah so i have already mentioned those all the points so highlights your uh, domain and highlights your uh, uh, like framework structure okay the third question is when do we go sorry when do we get null pointer exception and if you are doing the practice right or if you are working so this exception came many times so null pointer exception means object is not pointing to the reference in this scenario we are getting null pointer exception so in java a null pointer exception occurs when we try to access or call a method or a null object reference an object reference is null when it does not refer an actual object memory okay but in a steed uh, has the value of null so let me be having the some multiple scenario where you will get null pointer exception so you can see we have a string this string value is null and when you will find this length right here you will get null pointer exception another scenario again we have our string is null and when you are trying to do some operation so here you will get null pointer exception so you can see we have a string array and you are trying to find the uh, size of zero we don't have uh, anything inside this uh, string array by default it is null in this case you will get null pointer exception another scenario you have just declare the string and you are trying to find the uh, length then you will get null pointer exception when you are working in the selenium when sometime you know when you are using the web driver driver is not pointing to the actual reference in this scenario also will get null pointer exception a stick bit concept and when you are doing the practice and definitely you have a, some idea about of null pointer exception okay so let's move in the second question what is the use of test ng okay in real time we do not use main method in test ng we having the many features so let's discuss this so test ng is a testing framework which is designed to cover all the category of test unit functional into in integration we, we can combine test ng with selenium and we can write the test cases in eclipse using the java so test ng j unit n unit are a separate testing framework which is freely available in the market test ng and j unit mainly we can integrate into the java whereas n unit work with c sharp only okay j unit comes by default with eclipse but test ng you have to install add-on actually here we are giving some differences between the j unit so we having the many features so here i have already discussed like uh j, j unit having the fewer annotation but we having a test ng lot of the annotation as well automatically uh, j unit automatically does not create a html so in the test ng we having the reporting feature also we have a by default reporting and many things are there in the test ng okay and we have a many annotation we can generate report we can do parallel execution we can do batch execution we can do grouping execution 
so many things are there you can uh, execute uh, your test cases uh, include and exclude like as per your requirement right so here another question is write write the order of annotation write write the order of annotation in test ng okay so we have a before suite we have a before test so just i'm going to you guys can read once what is this because i have already discussed this all the annotation okay so these are the order before suite before test before class before method at the rate test before uh sorry before uh, sorry after uh, method after class after test and after suite so you could see here uh before suite it will execute as a suite level before test it will execute as a model wise okay and before class itself it will execute as a class level then we have a before method it is a method level and this is your after method like after uh classes after test and after suite right so it will execute just you can read once you will get more idea about of that okay so let's move in the another question so which jar did you use for reading the excel uh, file so for reading the excel file we have apache poi and this is a popular library for reading and writing the microsoft office document including excel file it provides a comprehensive api for handling a various type of the data in excel file including formulas styles and formatting okay have you worked on any framework development side yes it depend upon your experience or depend upon requirement okay so mostly mnc having the existing framework and some of like i have seen some of having the separate team for the framework development only developers are involved in the framework right but again you should have a idea about of the in to in framework how the framework is work and all okay if you have a more than 5 year of experience then you can tell yes again i'm going to tell you guys so this is depend upon the company requirement if any startup companies or any small companies are there and they uh, like they look they, they having the requirement for development of the framework from the scratch level so depend upon okay again depend upon the requirement if you do not develop the framework then you have a idea about a framework development and a script development okay so you should know how the end to end framework works how to write how to automate the test cases using the framework okay so you have a knowledge of into in knowledge of framework okay i think this is the last question and that's it guys so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new in the channel please share and subscribe and press bell icon to get new video notification if you have any doubt you can comment below thank you so much see you in the next video bye bye